get to Jane and Willie. It's a video I've only done a week old. We ain't ate the week old, so. Second one in my old two all weapon series. And I'm probably not gonna get all the two weapons. We're gonna try to knock them off in this series. And again, three and week old my most favorite snipers. That'll do a part of my team because it's just overall well balanced. Now, we'll get into that stats of this weapon. Give you the best weapon setup. We'll give you a guide on how to get from 1,000 kills to get the gold camo for this gun because it does look pretty awesome on this weapon. Now, the 3 hit recon does 100 maximum damage out until 30 meters. This means that you'll be getting the one hit kill out until 30 meters, and after that, the damage will drop down to 59 at 100 meters. A pretty good drop off. And but that basically means that anywhere after 30 meters, you'll have to get a headshot or your enemy will have to be tagged or damaged to get that one hit kill. Now, this doesn't have magnum round, so it cannot penetrate the mechanics armored insert, which really does suck. And you're going to have to hit in the torso or above to get the one hit kill as leg shots will not count. Fires at 39 rounds per minute, which is in the middle of the pack. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same as the AWM sniper rifle, and that makes it about again middle of the pack it has a 480 meters per second muzzle velocity meet middle of the pack and that's really what this sniper is a middle of the pack sniper but it's available for cops and criminals so that really means that you'll be getting to play with this weapon twice as much so you'll be able to get those 1000 kills quicker the reload is 3.2 seconds and the reload long is 4.1 seconds and has a six round magazine now the way I'd recommend running this sniper is how I'd recommend running most snipers except for the R700 and the AWM because those guns have magnum rounds. Now I'd recommend running this sniper with a rifle scope. Honestly any scope works, um, it's really your preference, you could use an ACOG a 6x, but I prefer the 8x rifle scope, straight pull and flash hider. If you're playing a bit more close quarters you might want to go extended mags and suppressor just to keep off that mini map. But extended mags is a viable choice, however, I find that straight pull is just the best attachment for snipers because you don't have to zoom out in order to reload, and that's just such a valuable trait for sniper rifles in this game. Now, as you can see there, we're unlocking the gold camo on this weapon. It looks absolutely great. I believe I died right after I unlocked it, but I got a pretty sick kill to unlock it, and it is a great weapon overall. Tell me what you guys think about this gun down below in the comments. Tell me what gun do you wanted next. I'm pretty sure I can knock off the Tech 9. The P90 I might be able to get. I might go for that one next. I also could go for the... Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to go for the AKM next. The Gold AK is probably what I'm going to try to get next. Because I'm about 600 kills for that. So stay tuned for that episode. Tell me what you guys want for this channel down below in the comments. Not too many BF, not too many BF1 news. We're probably gonna get our next piece of news at Gamescom, and hopefully it'll be an announcement of the beta date. So I'll give you guys updated on Battlefield One, all the new content we're getting. All four of Hardline's DLCs have already been free now, so we're not gonna get another Hardline free DLC unless they give away them all permanently for free later this year. But again, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new here. I might just leave you some excess 3 8 recon gameplay, but that's what if there's big guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, sniped a pilot. Sorry, I didn't.